as wars rage on worldwide, I somehow find myself marching from Slovenia to Croatia, alongside a group of people from all walks of life, united by one common calling, to walk for peace. Let all agree to put an end to war. The strangest dream I ever dreamed before. I dreamed the world had all agreed to put an end to war. What started as a little seed, an idea, among three women who felt called to act, to walk, to talk, to protest against the incredible injustices we are currently witnessing as a collective, is blooming into a peace project. A project where people gather, walk across country borders and connect with themselves, with each other, and with dreams and ideas of what the more just tomorrow could look like. Yeah. 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 The, the following day, yeah. we, we had the rain and wind. So guys, we are now leaving the country road. Country road, take me home. Okay, let's go. To the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country roads. I learned that we must forgive for the past, we must forgive for the present, but we cannot and should not forgive for the future, not to ourselves and not to one. Over the course of three days, we journeyed a hundred kilometers together talking and walking and walking and talking about peace, war, life, trees, bees, the obscene, and everything in between. For me, peace is, uh, yeah, it starts from accepting. And when you accept, then you can really do a good decision for for a solution and not a compromise. So, peaceful solution. Why should we walk for peace? Ha! Walking is a normal activity of human beings. So, the normality should be peace. So, why don't walk for peace? We are human beings walking. And we are human beings walking also in peace, if not in war. But usually we are in peace. So let's get out of war. <laughs> what started becoming clear to me throughout this march is that walking together as an act of protest is a powerful tool for peace. Because a journey including movement, nature, a space to process, and community, helps to build hope, inspiration, and joy. And from such a space, concrete action plans for how to actually bring more peace into the world naturally emerge among all participants. Yeah, this is really beautiful. Wow. Great, but I don't know for how long I'm gonna have this little barefoot the lane. Sufferings, the sufferings <laughs> of the walker. If you can lay with your feet up against the wall like this, ah. you saw what we did ah, yesterday. Yes. It helps a lot. I, uh, I know. That's yeah. kind of. Uh, Yeah. 
You will love it because the energy of these people. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. <laughs> I hope someday. This journey also taught me that everything, including peace, starts from an idea, the willingness to try it out, and the courage to keep stepping forward into the great unknown with a deep trust in your vision, just like the organizers of this walk. So what we are walking for, walk is a, a nice gesture. For a walk, you need to do a first step. And each step counts. Each step to you are our brothers and sisters everywhere. It's important. We started to walk because we see that everywhere um, there is a passive world um, about this bad news all around us. And sometimes you, you read the news and you think there is somewhere else, but this is right here. We have to do something. This is what we are doing. We are doing small steps towards what we hope one day will be peace in the world. After spending the past three days with this inspiring community, and encountering so many people dedicated to making their dream of a peaceful world a reality, I am filled with a sense of hope. Because it appears those who love peace are step by step learning to organize as effectively as those who love war. And since peacemakers are rooted in love and unity, rather than in fear and separation, they are a force to be reckoned with. from this experience? Uh, from this experience I learned that money do doesn't always buy happiness and sometimes when uh, you're with the right people the, the life is easier and the better and uh, every one of us if we think we can't, we, we still can uh, help people that, uh, that, uh, that are having a rough time. Even uh, when we go on the streets and show it to the world that, that we care. 